Okay, okay, we have good news and we have bad news. The good news is we found an Elks Lodge with water and electric just north of Tacoma for us to go to, which is perfect. Yes. The bad news is the road is, looks like it's being shut down. Everybody's out of their cars and they're all turning around and driving this way. And we are not able to do it. And we U-turn. can't make a U-turn. <laughs> so we're going to be forced to see what's up, but it looks not good. It doesn't good. look good. It doesn't look promising. Like this dude, okay. this is an organized guy right here. Look at him. I mean, he's on his way out and it's that organized. That is an organized guy. He's my role model. You see that? Yeah. Don't want to play games up with the moves. Don't want to meditate. Girl, but you, it's hard. But you bark. I know, I know, I know. Fill in the bench. Text me back. Throw me a kiss instead of the tricks. Don't make it hard. Wow. Look at that trail. It's something else, isn't it? We met so many great people today. Yes. <laughs> One awesome camping story after the next. Yeah. I only have 15 moves to do all this. <laughs> You funny boy. Are you being a funny boy? Charlie's in the truck. He's waiting. He's waiting. Oh, yeah. As soon as you make a noise with that, <laughs> he's up here. He's freaking out. He's like, they're going to forget that I'm in here and I need to be in there. So I just waltzed his little self into the truck. He was very yes. happy to go. Yes. So anyway, but you know what I'm excited what? about? What? There's a Trader Joe's. <laughs> 12 minutes up the road. Is that where we're going? That's where we're going. And a dump. And 2. a state 2, park. 2.2 miles from here. Yes. So we'll we'll get our systems ready for more dry camping. Yes. Yes. Just kind of doing my first walk around. I'm probably going to end up doing three. Got to get rid of those leveling blocks right there. We filled up with water and we're at 100% gray. That is not normal. Normally we travel 100% water. I don't recommend that for all RVs because you don't know what the... Uh, weight capacity on the axles are or how it tows things of this nature as it relates to the airstream we've weighed it with full water and we're good i actually think it tows better and with all the dry camping we're doing it's just nice to have the option one thing i will not do is travel with 100 percent water and 100 percent gray it's way too much so a nice gentleman over here another elks member said hey there's a state park 2.2 miles away You know, one of the things that I've changed over the years is uh, not using disposable gloves. I just use these big old gloves. And uh, I like these so much better because I think they do actually a better job keeping you clean and sanitary. The disposable gloves, they rip and they tear. And then when you're on the road, they get wet. And then they get more difficult to use. And then when you run out of them, then you could go a few, a week or longer of not stopping by like a tractor supply or Home Depot. These are just always available and uh, you know, I take them off, I keep them in the bumper and all is good. So I recommend. Do you have $5? Do you live in my wallet with $5? I think we might. How was your Trader Joe's haul? Fabulous. Yeah, it's tell me about huge it. Huge in there. Really? Yes. Dumped our black, we dumped our gray, we went to Trader Joe's. Now I'm gonna get a full tank of fuel because we have learned that if you go into a national park, it's just good to have full depth, full fuel. So we're all good there. And then uh, we've caught up on the internet so that we're not in a situation where we feel like we need to stay connected. And this is the best possible situation to be heading into a national park. So we're feeling good about it. I don't normally go to gas stations because I go to truck stops, but when you're far from the interstate, you have no choice. So one of the things I make sure I do is I always spot my exit before I go in. Hey there. Hey, you have plenty of room. Anyone coming? 
Nope, no one's coming. Yeah, I just got into my computer, oh. which does which caches emails, you know, oh. not like my phone that reloads them. Yeah. And we're 19, site 19. Oh, that's great. Lupe, site 19. So I was gonna walk down to 19 and just make sure that we're not gonna hit any trees, and I'll walk back. Oh, wow. Thank okay. You. Be right back. Yeah. Walking back there proved to be unnecessary, but it was probably the prudent thing to do. And after doing this for several years, I'm tired of breaking stuff. Oh. Anyway, you ready to go back to the enchanted forest? Yeah, is that what oh it yeah, is? it's nice. It's beautiful. Is it? Oh yeah, great big flat asphalt site. Really? Oh yeah. There was someone in our them, and I'm like, uh, hey. Hi. And they're like, no, 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 we're leaving. We're leaving. Okay. <laughs> yeah. So they're leaving right now. Great. You ready? I'm glad you went back there. Caleb's just getting bags. He's gonna walk Charlie to the thing. attempts in a long time the issue is not the site the issue is the road over here my truck swinging over when I turn that's why I was trying to get this corner real tight the first time but I didn't do it right Yeah, I'll just put these, I'll just stop on these right here, and that'll give us one of the 1.25 inches, and we don't have to be perfectly level. Am I on? Back it up. Back up. Back up. You're off. You fell off. Back up? Yeah. Back it. And stop. See? Would you look at this? Perfect. <laughs> just look at it. Yeah, well. What the heck is that? There's a life I lead in this city. Okay. Fire's going. Trish is just making some appetizers. I got my Kentucky Greyhound. Someone's excited. Let's go hang out. Ooh, that's awesome. Isn't that great? This is a little paradise. I know. Wow. Wow. That's great. This is a problem. We have a problem, Mark. Three more. Oh. How am I going to get these guys? How does, how, what? How do you get this guy? You smell it over here, Charlie. I want it all. I had a feeling, but the feeling I only have one move. Messed up. Out of moves. Okay, do we know where we're going? Well, it's in the forest, the rainforest. Oh, well. And it's called like the Hall of Mosses or something. No, that's not how you pronounce it. It's the Hall of Mosses. Actually, it's pronounced the Hall of Mosses. 
Okay, now that we've done that. <laughs> We're right here yeah. at Soul Duck. Yeah. And the rainforest is really close actually, but with a car you have to go all the way around. But Forks right here, this is where the Twilight series was filmed. Oh really? Yeah, so we'll have to go through there, do some slow-mo, look for some uh, you know, vampires and werewolves. Yeah. And then come through here. I'm ready. And she said this might be kind of busy, but she said the Hall of Moss is really pretty or I'm worth ready. it. If you look at the map, yeah, we're up in the dark blue. Yeah. Well, when I went to Rainier, uh -huh. in my haste. Well, you were I, so excited. I was, I was excited. I really was. I went to the light blue section, and I put my. But that's the mid Atlantic. Oh shoot. Yes, shoot. and I put Rainier. Oh shoot. Ah. You anyway. want me to get a new passport for you in there? No. Are you, are you sure you want to delegate this stamp? I think you should be the one. Clearly, I'm not responsible <laughs> enough. The last time I put it in the wrong section, the time before that I did it upside down. <laughs> okay. Here you go. I'll take over. Why am I right out with a fixed stamp here? Jeez. It's harder than it looks. Here, do it. Get it wet again and go up top. I do. You really right here? Yeah. Bummer. Another lost cat. That's crazy. Why are so many people bringing their cats to these national parks and then losing them? I don't know. I don't know. It's just crazy. identifying these so question is are these at their biggest form or the small tiny or one is this a tiny sitka or is this a western hemlock this is just a short little jaunt it's yeah. less than a mile and um, you could do this one and then there's another little trail over mm -hmm. there and then you do two miles um, but there's also a river that goes by and then that's 18 miles. Mm. So you could just kind of go a mile up and a mile back. But just looking at everything along the way is really cool. Big tree falls, it can provide a stage for new life. Hemlock and spruce seedlings, unable to survive in the tangled forest floor, absorb the minerals, moisture, and warmth from the decaying trunk. Even on this perch, competition is fierce. Only a few seedlings last. After their roots reach soil, new trees often seem to stand on stilts. Oh, so these started after taking root on a big log that had already fallen. Mm. Oh, you can kind of see so the log. Cool. You can kind of see the log. Yeah, but then it gone. deteriorates. Uh huh. That is so cool. Second beach. Look at where our blue dot is, and zoom out and stuff. Just looking at, like, whoa, how close we are to Victoria. Whoa. How close we are to. Canada wow. like that, Seattle. Zoom really? in all the way, you can see the beach. Like zoom in look, on the dot. We're gonna go all the way over there. It's crazy, this isn't it? This little piggy. Whoa. Oh wow, this is gonna be really pretty. Whoa. Wow. This is incredible. Yeah. It's like a little mini haystack rock. Yeah, I thought so too. Yeah. Very reminiscent of Cannon Beach. Wow. At least our experience. Or, um, what was that little, little beach? Oh, look, look, look. 
Tofino. Tofino. Gosh, that was pretty. I look in the way distance. The boys actually helped each other carry their surfboards to the beach. And now they're helping each other put their sweatsuits on. Look at this. Actually, were you guys actually working together? Yeah, it was great. Yeah, but wow. I think it's because the work work is bonding us. <laughs> work, <laughs> work. What do you mean? You mean like work at the uh, RV park? Yeah. Yeah, you guys are coming together? Yeah. yeah. Oh, look at this. Get off. Mate, that's good. You gotta pop up like this, mate. <laughs> and the next thing you know, you're shredding the knot. It's mid-September, bring a jacket. We don't know when the rain will start, but we've heard that September isn't bad as far as rain is concerned. Well, we it's, that's been our experience. That's yeah. what we heard and that's what we're experiencing and I'm sure it changes year to year. <laughs> One of my favorite things so far being here mm -hmm. is coming into the park and mm -hmm. seeing Cascade Lake. I, that was a beautiful. It was amazing. I wish yeah. we could have like pulled over or had time stand still. It's a very tight, very yes. windy road. And so it's definitely a challenge and absolutely spectacular. Yeah. Okay, so we came in. Uh, Olympic National Park, that was surprising to me. I wasn't yes. expecting that. Mm -hmm. A couple other things that surprised us. We knew it was big, but it's huge. I mean like really big. One million acres. Yes. <laughs> the other thing that was surprising to me is that it's not a traditional national park that I was used to like when you go into the, let's say the entrance of a national park mm -hmm. and you're just in the park. Mm -hmm. It's actually like you're in a region of the country, like Alaska mm -hmm. let's say, and then you're gonna go into different sections of the park and then you kind of turn off of like the 101 which is a loop that goes all the way around and then you go down into the rainforest or you go down into the, the beaches yeah. and then you'll enter the park several times having to show your ID at these various places. There's actually four specific quadrants and we're gonna put that in the blog for you so mm -hmm. that you can read up and really understand the different areas yeah. of the park because anytime you set out for an adventure you're gonna be in the car for probably an hour or more and when you look at your map you're like no 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 I can get through this yeah. it's gonna be like 30 45 minutes no it's really far apart and spread out and so you'll want to plan accordingly. You'll want to that's a great point you'll want to pick kind of what you think is the most desirable place in this national park for you mm -hmm. and then determine where do you want to stay do you want to dry camp on the, on the uh what would it be well on the other side of the park uh -huh. or do you want to stay at an rv park outside of the national park right now we are uh, in sold duck um, which is you know dry camping and beautiful as oh you can tell gosh. it's and the sites are beautiful they're great i mean they're spacious and awesome and there's a little dump station on your mm -hmm. way out um i think also if you want to be by the coastline there's mm -hmm. some really great options so you don't have to be tucked away in the park unless that's something that you want yeah. and soul duck is one of the highlights for people um there's a waterfall hike there's mm -hmm. the hot springs um but you're really just enwrapped in these magical trees. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so let's talk about the blog. For those of you that might be just tuning in this particular season, we are doing like an article or a blog to help you on what we're calling the National Park Blitz. Yes. We've already done one for Mesa Verde, for Capitol Reef, and now Olympic. So if you go to keeperdaydream.com forward slash Olympic, right here is the URL. There's gonna be top tips, places to stay in the park, out of the park, closures, everything you need to know. Because we leave these national parks knowing a lot more than when we came. <laughs> That's right. And the idea here is so that you have a little bit of a heads up on what you need to know before you come. Here's a hot tip though. Okay. Forks, it's where Twilight was filmed. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that might ring a bell. <laughs> um, they get the most rain per the continental, you know, the attached yes. United States. <laughs> and um, if anywhere else, and they have some of the yummiest little drive-by um, places to eat. Oh, we yeah. had great hamburgers. Yeah. <laughs> we had um, really great Mexican food out of a yeah. little hut. They have really fun coffee drive-through mm -hmm. stations. So um, you don't have to think of every single meal all on your own here. Yeah, good point. All right, another here's another hot tip. We were going to take the ferry on Highway 20 leaving Port Townsend to Distra? Coopville. Okay. And uh, turns out being the length we are 
uh, we tried to make the reservation a day in advance and they were co either completely full uh -huh. or not taking reservations. So if you plan on going to, let's say, North Cascades from Olympic. And, and you don't want to go through Seattle. You, you don't want to go through Seattle. You might want to have those ferry reservations a couple days or a week in advance. Okay, that's it for us. Um, we are going to hop in the car. We're going to harvest host tonight, probably drive through Seattle, make our way up to North Cascades. Mm -hmm. And then um, if all goes to plan, then we still, then we're going to do, we've added this to our itinerary. We're going to do rush, uh, Glacier. We're going to do Glacier next and then um, Bozeman, then Rushmore. Lots going on. That's it. Let's go. I hope these things are, I hope these, uh, these like end of the video recap summary slash blog is helpful to you. Let us know and um, more to come. And good luck in your travels. Yes. Happy trails. What do we have here? A little mini waffle maker? Oh, you have a tiny waffle maker, do you? Hmm, <laughs> very tiny. It's getting hot. It's not mm, quite ready not yet. Not quite hot yet, huh? <laughs> I have a tiny whisk, too. Oh, a tiny, a tiny whisk. Mm. And a tiny pitcher. A tiny pitcher. And a tiny waffle maker. I was driving down the coast Look at that. It's not quite as crispy as it could be. I was just hoping it would make me feel fine. It was some kind of contemplation. Oh, let's see it. He's way under here. What else do you find? We have some, what are these, sea anemones? Yes. Nanemones. Yeah. Woo! Yay! Wow. Oh, my shoes. Look, we found more fishing line and a weight. Anyway. Hey. That was cool. Yeah, we didn't see any that. crabs. Look at all of that. That's where the crabs hang out. You I heard it. The crabs? That's from the local. I'll hold the dog. Oh, cool. I put the other fish on our rock. Okay. This is really pretty. It is. Oh, you already see this. You see it right there? No. Right there. But an enemy. Right directly below my hand. Oh. See, what are those guys? Yes. How was it? Is that what we're calling them? Yeah. Because we can pronounce that? Yeah. Yeah. It was fun. This is good. This was worth it. Good. It was, it was so, neat. So, this is beach... Three. Three? Yeah. Okay. And then, um, and then we went to second beach yesterday. Yes. So, those two, epic. Yeah. For different reasons. Yes.